Well, hey there, friends, fans, and followers. Dave Turner here. And today, we're going to talk about the master cylinder brake upgrade I did on my 1966 Chrysler Newport. Let's go take a look. We'll pop the hood. And right over here, we see the dual master cylinder that's from a 1967 Chrysler. So the problem with cars made in 1966 and prior is that they have what's called a single circuit master cylinder, where there's just one brake line coming from the master cylinder to all four of the wheels. And if there's a problem with the wheel cylinders, any of the wheel cylinders loses pressure or any of the lines gets damaged or injured or not injured, but you know, messed up, you can lose the brakes for the entire car for all four wheels. So a common upgrade uh, for these cars is to uh, replace the master cylinder with something from 1967 or later. And that's exactly what I did here. So we we'll step over here. We can see that we've got a master cylinder from a 1967 Chrysler Newport. It's got the two lines instead of the one. And you can look online and find uh, kits to do this and, and uh, distribution blocks and things like that. And what I found is that those kits don't actually work right. The, the brake line configuration doesn't actually work. The, the uh, distribution block that they give you is not qu quite right. I ended up um, doing this for just a few bucks. Um, I'll put a link in the description below that has um, my page over on for cbodies.com, for cbodiesonly.com, where I list every single piece of hardware that I needed to perform this upgrade. So I bought the master cylinder, I think that was probably $45 from O'Reilly's. It, it uh, bolted directly to my existing uh, power brake booster. I had to make two new brake lines. Um, I got these from the, the uh, O'Reilly's as well. They were probably $10 each. And what I did is I used the existing distribution block that came on the car. And let's see if I can dig it out here. There it is, way down there. Sorry, there's some glare way down there. There it is. Okay, so what I did is I took the brake line from the back of the master cylinder, which is the one that goes to your front brakes, and that goes down and that plugs in to the back of the distribution block. Then, for the line coming from the front of the master cylinder that goes to your rear brakes, that comes down and I plugged that directly into the hard line that's going to the rears, the rear brakes. So the rear, the line for the rear brakes com completely skips the distribution block now and goes directly to that hard line that's coming from the rear axle. What's left is that you've got the two lines coming from the front of the distribution block and those go to the front wheels just like normal. So without change, and I, and I bought a cap, sorry, I bought a cap that capped off the top because that's where the, uh, the fluid used to go in at. So the fluid used to come from the single stage master cylinder. It used to come in the top and then it would come out the bottom and go to the rear wheels and the two in the front would go to the front wheels. But what we've done to review is we've we've capped off the top where the input used to be. The, the front wheels are still getting these two lines like before. The line from the front for the front wheels from, coming from the master cylinder goes to where the fluid used to go out to the back wheels. And then this line from the master cylinder in the front here plugs directly into the line that goes to the back brakes. By doing this, I didn't have to buy a new distribution block and get it to work or anything like that. I just had to buy a cap to cap off where the line used to go in. And I had to buy an adapter for the 
line going to the back brakes. And then I had to buy a couple of adapters for the master cylinder since they are different sizes. But the, the lines are the same size, but the fittings on the master cylinder are different. So I bought fitting uh, adapters for those. So for about maybe $70 total with tax, including brake fluid and all that business, <clears throat> I upgraded to a dual master cylinder. I got two new brake lines. I did have to buy a brake uh, line or a, a tubing bender but those are always good to have anyway. So I bent my own tubes, used the existing distribution block, capped off one of the plugs, a couple of adapters, and I'm good to go. So now I've got a, a two-stage master cylinder. So if something happens, I lose brakes on maybe two of the wheels instead of all four wheels. Anyway, hope you found this in informational, informative, entertaining, or whatever. And uh, leave your comments, questions in the comments below. I always reply to comments, so thanks for that. And hope you like this enough to click subscribe and maybe check out some of my other videos on cars or music or whatever. And thanks for watching. Take care.